My name is Calder Greenwood, and I'm the production designer on War of the Worlds. This version of War of the Worlds is based a little bit more on the Orson Welles radio broadcast from the 30s. So basically all this stuff is recycled from something else. It's either leftover wood from an old project, leftover PVC, you know, bottle caps. That's kind of how, that's how I do it. So. There's a certain scale where it'll collapse in on itself, so you have to reinforce it. So I like to use wood for a skeleton and then cardboard over that. The um, Orson Welles radio broadcast, the whole impression people had of it was that, wait a minute, is this happening? And I think the only way to really sell that, because we're all so used to things being edited and manipulated and special effects these days, that to go back and kind of do it the way he did and do a simulated live broadcast event, even though it's fake, I walked outside one day and they were in the parking lot testing the speakers at the end of my street. So one of the locations is immediately across the street from me. So I was walking my dog and I stopped to see what they're doing and recognized Carmen, who was among them. And asked her what's going on. She said, oh my God, wait a minute. You'd be perfect for this. We're doing War of the Worlds, you know, half a year from now. Can you build us aliens? And I was like, uh, yeah, let's do it. And that was that, so. This project in particular ties a lot of downtown together. So, so to think that I get to manipulate that location and change it for one day and make it something really special, along with the fill and all the collaboration of all these um, different groups coming together for the singular purpose, I think makes it really fun.